Hey everybody, this is Chris DeFerio with Keys to the Shop, and you're listening to a Shift Break episode. Uh, this is number five in our series where every Thursday put out like a, a five to ten minute episode that will be a short to the point um, tips and tools and insights that will help you thrive at work and have a successful career in coffee. So um, I hope you've been enjoying these. They have been really fun to do. And today's topic is going to be uh, the power of asking questions. And more specifically, um, the power of just connecting with our community. Recently, I got back from Coffee Fest Denver, which was a great time. um, And I got to meet a bunch of you out there who are listeners to the show. I'm really thankful for that. And I got to talk with a lot of people also during my seminars on uh, management and leadership and training that was really great, uh, good questions that people were asking. As I look out at Coffee Fest, I look at an environment where it's all about getting your questions answered. Everybody is coming to a conference or a gathering with some kind of an agenda, and they want to know about food. They want to know about tea, um, chai, or coffee, and management, and barista training. So they all have something that they want to learn, and they organize their weekend accordingly, okay? There is a lot of pressure that people put on themselves to get the right um, array of training and classes because they feel, I think they feel, that it's one of their only opportunities to really learn this stuff. And part of that is because there's a unique collection of experts in one place, that they have access to and you know gosh darn it we better <laughs> get on this and start um you know really taking advantage of what's being offered that's perfect and and that's great you should go to coffee fast you should go to the sca show you should um listen to podcasts like keys to the shop for instance and other coffee podcasts that really help you develop where there are ideas and people concentrated in a concentrated dose, giving you insights in a curated way. Okay, those are fantastic. But that's not what I want to talk about right now. That's not what I think is lacking in our um, pursuit of uh, growth and development as professionals. So what is lacking? What is it that we are missing that will kind of round out our pursuit of growth and betterment as professionals. Well, I think that asking great questions and connecting with your community globally on your own in the off season is the answer. Now, what do I mean by that? Here's what I mean. If you can picture right now, can close your eyes right now, if you're driving, don't do it. Um, but if you can just picture in your mind a person or people that you really respect in the industry. And when you do this, think to yourself, have I ever had a conversation with this person, either face-to-face, over the phone, or email? And if you haven't, ask yourself, why not? And one of the answers that you might come up with is, well, they don't have the time. And why would they want to talk with me? Or I don't know what I would say. Um, I don't know what kind of questions I would ask. Well, a lot of those responses are easily solved by a little bit of planning and initiative. Look, here's the thing. Our industry is very much open to sharing its expertise with the community. If my podcast has proven nothing else, it's that a guy in Kentucky can call up the world's best baristas, can call up the the world's foremost experts in in green coffee analysis and have a conversation with them where they are willing to share what they know. A lot of which you might not have ever known had that initiative not been taken. Yes, it requires planning. And no, it's not exactly the same because they are on a podcast. But I've also done this with people like like David Shomer, for instance, like he was on the show in March for Founder Friday. I told the story on that episode of how I went to Seattle as a young barista, enamored with his book, 
And I took a audio cassette recorder. He didn't know this. I just found him in his shop and asked him if I could ask some questions. And I had planned this out. And he actually said yes. And I got answers to all of my questions. Um, and it was fantastic. He was willing to do it. So my message is kind of this. You, we are, the, we are so connected in the industry, both by what we do, because if we do a better job, each one of us, collectively, we do better. So this is kind of a motivation for people in our industry to be open and share because what benefits one area benefits the entire area. But also know that specialty coffee people don't really get that much of an opportunity to talk about what they love. But when somebody asks them a question about something that they're passionate about or they're expert in, you probably will have a hard time getting them to shut up about it, you know? Because they're passionate about it. They, they wouldn't have been doing it for so long and so well if it wasn't something that they had feelings about. Okay? And, you know, not everybody in your life is into coffee. I mean, you know that. I know that. So I get to talk about coffee with people and about the coffee industry and cafe life with people. And it's an outlet for me. It's great. That's why conferences exist and this podcast exists, etc. But... My point is, in the off-season, when you're not listening to a podcast, when you're not at a conference, what's stopping you from reaching out to the World Barista Champion? What is stopping you from reaching out to the manager of that one cafe that you really, really love or that you just went to once when you were on vacation on the West Coast and you have so much respect for the way that they, um, their hospitality is? Why not just email them and say, I'm a new manager. What what can I do with my team to do similar work to what you do? I really want to know. I have a lot of respect for you. How much you want to bet that that question really doesn't ever come up that often to that manager? But when somebody asks a question like that to you, you know intuitively, especially if you're the kind of professional that wants to pay it forward um, and, and has a sense of community, that this is an opportunity for you to really impact specialty coffee. This is a moment where you are going to be able to teach somebody something that you've learned and what a thrill to be able to do it. You might be nervous thinking about asking somebody a question that you respect, but you know what? I'll bet that the person who gets that question asked of them might be nervous also because they don't want to mess up this opportunity to really communicate what it is that they've learned or what they're passionate about. You don't necessarily need to have a list of superstars. You could be overlooking the expertise in your own store. You know, the owner of your shop and the managers or people around you that you work with, they have a wealth of information. But a lot of times we just assume that we know everything about them. And we don't get inquisitive. We don't get curious. How many of us can really say that we've truly um, learned as much as we can learn from those who are leaders, even within our own stores? And we automatically assume that people who need to be our mentors or leaders are people who are outside. Those who are featured in magazines, who win competitions or, uh, you know, are featured as guests on podcasts and things like that. Now, when you're doing this, pay attention to the opportunities that you have to speak into other people's lives as well. Because as you grow as a professional, you're going to have opportunities to answer questions for other people. And as people open up and share with you, you should open up and share with them what you've learned. This virtuous cycle of of sharing and helping each other grow just makes us stronger in this industry. So um, I hope that this episode was helpful to you today. I uh, certainly have been preaching to myself, and I'll have my own list that I'll be working on right along with you. So I really appreciate you joining me. See you all next time, uh, Thursday next week, for another shift break from Keys to the Shop.